So, Johnny, if you were the GM and the owner said to you, go and get me a goaltender, and it better not mm-hmm. be some jabroni that dresses up like a number one <laughs> Damn it. sometimes. That's all I was going to pick. Mm-hmm. No, uh-huh. I, you're not getting a jabroni goaltender. You've got to get a legit goaltender. And if teams are saying, you just got to find one, what are you going to do? Tell me. Not a jabroni. Okay, so <laughs> does – Okay, so my first option would have been I would have gone down the jabroni route. I like Nedeljkovic was in the minors. Nedeljkovic is better than. Stop Stickers. it! We're not doing Nedeljkovic. We're that yeah. is hey, not. Shout okay. out! Shout out! Was it last night or two I nights know, ago? I scored a goal and got a shutout this weekend. In, in two Big days. Weekend for him. In two Double days. Double threat. Yeah. Double threat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I would. You, you scour around the league. I'd say, listen, New York Islanders, can I coax Bar- Barlam off out of your off your hand? I know he's got like a no move and he's older. But I'd look, I mean, is there something there that I could extract a pretty good goaltender out of? I would look, I've heard it floated. Now, this would take a big one, but if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's like situation critical, oh, you go and you call Nashville, who have a, a scar off waiting in the wings, and they're not going to win with Saros and say, what do we got to do to get UC Saros? Mm. He's, I, good I, he's a rock star, though. Well, but. that might be three first rounders and Evan Bouchard and. What, like you know, they're I, would, best pro- I would drive I him there if I was Ken Holland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Although Bouchard's like, got is... 17 points, but he's I know, but like cost them. Say, it would start with Bouchard and two first rounders and go from there. But if it's about the next two years, which it really is in in Edmonton, before Drysdale contract is up, um, you know, like maybe you go down that road. John Gibson, you know, I, I don't Noodles and I have had this conversation. I'm not as big of a fan as he might be. But I, I, go, I guess those are the kind of names you would reach out to, knowing you're going to have to overpay and you're going to rob your entire future mm. for this guy who's going to help you the next couple of years. Yeah, that's what's so desperate about the situation is, for starters, Ken Holland, you assume, would be making a deal, yet he's probably gone he? at the end of the year. Right. Exactly. And Jeff Jackson's the guy at the top, so everything's got to go through him anyway. Um, and you're going to get fleeced. Like, yeah. whoever you acquire right now, you're the most desperate, vulnerable team in the league. And everyone knows why you're calling, and you're going to get fleeced. And I don't know. It's it's desperate times, and I guess that could call for some desperate measures. But they may have dug themselves such a deep hole; it, it may not matter anyway. That even if you acquire somebody, Johnny Jerry's percentage on the Edmonton Oilers making the playoffs seventeen. Ooh, that is low, man. Get that that's horn, appropriate. JP. That's appropriate right now. Look at the other Seventeen percent. Seventeen percent, Mike Johnson. Yes, they're eight points out, and yeah, they're know. tracking Anaheim, which is not the seventy-seven yeah. Habs. But the bottom line is, like they'll they'll probably play better noodles. Like I'm not, I, I can't buy their goaltending at this point. Like yeah. I think it's more likely than not that it continues on the same trajectory, which is not enough. Now, if they go change their goaltending, we'll revisit this conversation. But if it's Pickard and Skinner, the rest of the sixty-five games. Like, oh, I, no I don't chance. know. I, I, no don't, I don't know. doesn't feel like it. Pickard, if, like, no, it can't be Calvin Pickard. It cannot be him playing. He can't start 15 in your final 65 games. What if Jack Campbell starts heating up in the minors, though, Hazy? Have you seen his stats? Yeah, it's They're concerning. Good. We think there might be an injury there. We're looking into it. Johnny, we <laughs> said they're so concerning that he must just be like, screw this. And he would pay a guy a hundred grand for an MRI that says both his <laughs> hips are cracked in half, and you show that to the coach. <laughs> it's Listen, so bad. I, it's it. I we're tongue in cheek, but like that's how you'd feel. Like I know you're, you're like, why the hell am I going I'd out there? Rather not play than play like this. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Every day it hurts me. I, every day I walk out feeling worse about myself than when I walked in, and it sucks. And there's one day that, that he likes, though, Johnny. There's one day yeah, that he two. likes. Well, that's the it. The two. This guy's pulling yeah. in in like an that's Aston it. Martin, and he's got an 816 save percentage in the minors. <laughs> Dude, I like would go full wild. Willie Mays Hayes down there. I would just pull up in a luxury car every day. <laughs> <laughs> I would have my own limo to the yeah, games. Same. Yeah. Private jets on the road. Basking. I would do oh, it right, man. Why not, man? Well, Basking the problem it. is that when you go down there and you make that much money, you basically have to bankroll the boys. Everywhere you go all the time. Absolutely. Because yeah. you make as much as the rest of the team combined. 
So it's like every dinner out, every time you go out, it's all on it's all on you. So um, but yeah, pay, I, I, pay raise to go to the miners too, right? And no escrow. No escrow. Always worth remembering. Right. He just got a seven percent pay raise, tiny little three hundred grand. So making a fortune down there. He's down. I, in the yeah, it's it's. Um, I feel bad for him though. We're, we're kidding. It's, it, I feel Dolphin. bad for any athlete that goes through that. It's really really tough. Yeah, it's terrible.